ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯ ಕಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಗ ಹೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈತು ಶ್ರೀದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವಲಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿ ಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೋ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದುಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀರ್ ತ್ವಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ತ್ವಕ್ತಿಯೋಗ ಪರಿಭಾವಿತ ಹಿತ್ಸರೋಜ ಆಸಸೆ 
श्वेतक्षित पतन नुनापुंसम जदि जद धिया तो उगा विभावती तत्वपू प्रणय से सदनो गृहायम भक्ति योग परिभावित हिस्सरो जो आससे श्रुतेक्षित पतन नुनापुंसम जद जद धिया तो उगा विभावती तत्वपू प्रणय से सदनो गृहाय गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुपाद परम से जगत गुरु टोल दैट इफ वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्रेस इन डिफरेंट एटीच्यूड टुवर्ड्स दैट एक्सीलेंट एंड एब्सुलूट मधुर रासा देन श्योरली टूडे और टुमोरो वी कैन फॉल डाउन इन टू मेटेरियल रासा एंड वी कैन लूज आवर कैरेक्टर वी कैन लूज एवरीथिंग बिकॉज कैरेक्टर लूज बीन एवरीथिंग लॉस्ट गौरी और गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट उफ इफ वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्रेस आवर इन डिफरेंट एटीच्यूड टुवर्ड्स दैट एप्सिल्यूट एक्सीलेंट एंड एप्सिल्यूट दैट मधुर रासा देन श्योरली वी आर गोइंग टू फॉल डाउन इन टू मेटेरियल रासा we can lose all our character everything lost surely madhur rasa is our ultimate goal in our gauriya bhajan in our gauriya bhajan as per the siddhant vichar of chaitanya mahaprabhu i mean the ways i mean the ways shown by mahaprabhu to attain that excellent stage is our goal but we are very sorry to discover ourselves in a very poor condition such a poor condition from here it's quite impossible to reach up to that place somebody can speak some false philosophy somebody can appreciate you false appreciation but actually the point is that for bonded soul krishna bhajan is really rare yesterday i was speaking those who are jivan mukta jivan mukta mean in their living condition they are totally out of this material connection those who are totally out of material connection while they are living in this material world they are living like you but still you can see they are totally out of this material you know limit that's called jivan mukto rupakashi pa going to speak us going to advise us mukto ko ulai rupasamanam namastakam you can read you can find मुक्त कुल ही रूपाश्यमान मुक्त कुल ही माने दोज वर मुक्त कुल टोटली फ्री फ्रॉम मेटेरियल क्लॉटर दोज दोज हु कैन अंडरस्टैंड एक्सीलेंस ऑफ कृष्ण भाजन ओनली फॉर देम कृष्ण भाजन इज अलाउड एवरीबॉडी कैन कम वॉट वी कैन वी कैनॉट स्टॉप बट वॉट भक्ति मीन उठा गुड टोल दैट आई लाइक टू दैट आई लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू some very important personality as per material mane material world important personality not as per our judgment he is suggesting to bhakti mohan thakur thakur everybody should be allowed in krishna bhajan what wrong in it survival of the fittest that a important man suggesting to bhakti me thakur what wrong in it we can allow everybody okay you can start come to mart and do krishna bhajan what wrong in it because the ultimate question is survival of the fittest those who can survive they can stay bhakti me thakur say no no we cannot allow bhakti me thakur speaking better to remain the goshala bhakti me thakur speaking better to rem- better it is better to remain gosala vacant than to keep all wicked cows 
Bhakti Mata was speaking. To whom we can follow? Bhakti Mata was speaking, no. Gauriya Bhajan is so excellent, so high level. Even those who are Acharya, they should, you know, put some controlling. I mean, before they come, before giving Diksha, they should check up. They at all they are coming for Bhajan or they are coming to make some La Puja, Patishta, everything. What is the motive? Bhakti Mata was speaking, we cannot allow. Gauriya Bhajan, I mean, Goranga Mahaprabhu was so high that we cannot allow any useless people to come and contaminate the you know, field of bhajan. That's why all our big, big acharya, we can say, they are the sweeper of Namhatta. Namhatta means where Hari Bhajan, actual Harikatha, Aprakita, where Aprakita Harikatha, transcendental Harikatha Kirtan going on, that place. It is the duty of Acharyas to, to keep clean that place. If any garbage coming, can take the, you know, you know, boom and throw garbage outside, outside the area. If, if we can maintain this kind of purity, then we have our right to discuss about the great Jayadev Goswami. Otherwise not. What I can do? By discussing? Because you should remember, Simon Mahaprabhu, day and night, last 12 years in the Gambhira Mandir, Mahaprabhu used to get the taste of, you know, Radha Bhav, Manjari Babu, all the time, continuously. Continuously, Mahaprabhu used to get the taste inside this Gambhira Mandir with Rai Ramananda and Sarup Gamadhar. Whole day and night, last 12 years. Don't like to talk with anybody. Always crying and crying, this kind of bhava. Actually, our Gauriya Bhajan, actually, if you ask me, what, what do you mean by Gauriya Bhajan? Gauriya Bhajan means, I learned from Paramahita Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, our Guru Maharaj from Bhavapad, that Gauriya Bhajan means, from starting to end, crying, you will have to cry day and night. You will have to feel the separation, that you are separated from Bhagavan, but you are feeling uh, comfortable, okay? Enough money there in bank, uh, everybody is suitable around. Everybody is speaking. This is not Gauri Bhajan. Somebody asking to Gauri, Gauri Kishar Bhavaji Maharaj, how to get Bhagavan, how to get Krishna, Bhavaji Maharaj, how to get Krishna? Disturbing Babaji Maharaj, he is going to disturb. Babaji Maharaj speaking, well, hear me. Can you cry? Can you cry whole day and night? In the name of Krishna, in the name of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, can you cry? Like you are crying for money, you are crying for your children, wife, but you cannot cry for Krishna. Then you cannot expect. Whatever big society formation you can make. Zero level. Srila Bhakti Vallab Tittu Goswami Maharaj used to say, all zero, 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 all zero level. E even, you know, negative mark, negative. From zero, if you go left-hand side, negative, ne negative direction. So better to stay in even in zero position. Because at least someday I can start to, uh, to move towards positive direction. But you are moving towards negative direction. You are moving towards negative direction. Therefore, you are going far away from zero. Far away from zero. So someday, if you develop your consciousness, you will have to first to, you will have to come to zero level. Because you gone negative level, negative direction. You will have to come to zero level. Then the question of moving towards positive direction can arise. So at least, those who are going to guide people about bhajan. It is the request of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, it is the request of Prabhupada, I can show you. They are speaking. At least they cannot misguide people. If they don't know, okay, they keep silence, but they should not misguide people. People are in confusion about what to... 
So, the sloka I started to it, it will take long time to discuss about the sloka. Tam bhakti yoga paribhavita his saroja asase. In one line I can speak, I have no time to speak about this. Tvam bhakti yoga paribhavita his saroja asase. Tvam, he Prabhu, according to the according to the heart of devotees, according to the heart of devotees, sophisticated heart of Hari Bhajan, Bhakti, you appear inside the heart of that devotee accordingly. Like surely Nandanandan Krishna cannot appear inside the heart of Tulsidasji Maharaj because he wants to take darshan of Ramji Maharaj. Tvam bhakti yoga paribhavita hit saro juasase Shutekshita patanonuna to pungsam Yad yad dhyato uruga yabibhavati Tatta the bapu pernayase sadonu grahayu First, very vital point here. Shutekshita patanonuna to pungsam Shutekshita pato, this point is you should remember whole life. Even after leaving this body. Shutek Shetapatha. Our way of bhajan is Shouta Pantha. That you should not forget. Shutek Shetapatha. First of all, you will have to hear from pure Guru Vaishnava. First of all, you will have to hear from the lotus mouth of that Guru, Guru Vaishnava. The allies soul. They are doing bhajan. After that, you can catch that theme inside heart. Realization can come, then you can see everything. Material people, material people out of their money power, they are going to Vrindavan. I can go to Vrindavan. I make a flight ticket. Ah. But they don't know, they, their forefather, four forefather, they never can go to Vrindavan. That they don't know. Foolish number one. How they can go to Vrindavan? Vrindavan is not such, a, such an you know, object that you can go and take darshan. <laughs> Follow. Sarup Gosai never went to Vrindavan. Sarup Gosai never went to Vrindavan. But he is lighting Vrindavan Satakam. But is it strange? Strange? He never been. He never been there in Vrindavan in his whole life. But he is writing about Vrindavan Satakam, the beauties of Vrindavan. How is possible? Possible because he is originally from Vrindavan. You can go with your material sense organ, eyes, everything. What is there? Govardhan. Ah, ah, there are so many monkeys, so many stool and urine everywhere. This is your Vrindavan darshan. Somebody coming to Guru Maharaj. Ah, Maharaj, I am coming from Vrindavan. Nice, you know, darshan. Everything okay, Maharaj, but there is stool and urine. And so many here and there, drainage system not good. And monkey there, taking speck. He gone, Guru Mahal laughing at me. You see, he has gone to Vrindavan. This is his Vrindavan darshan. With his eyes, we liked, with his eyes, we can see only stool, urine, woman, man, this we can see. Bhagavan, we cannot see. We cannot see Dham, not possible. So, the first point, someday I can discuss about this sloka in details, but today only one line. Shutek Shita Patanunata Pungsham. That's mean Shutek Shita. First, you will have to, you will have to, your oral reception, you will have to catch a Prakita Shabda Brahma here. Not from here and there, from a right source. You will have to hear. After that, Harikatha can go inside your heart clean your heart totally, then automatically you can see everything. Because by the help of Harikatha, because by the help of pure Harikatha Kirtan, you can, clear, you, can, you can clean your heart. That is the procedure. That is the procedure, no other procedure. Many times I told before, you know, Yatha yatha atma parimijyate aso matpunna gatha sabano vidhanai tatha tatha pasyati vastu suksham chakshu saiva anjana samprajuktam. According to a degree of 
hearing of Harikatha with full realization. I mean, according to your digestion power. You can develop your darshan, pure darshan. Not by your money power, man power. You cannot see. You cannot see. This is not possible. And Bhakti Muta was speaking, we must clean. First of all, don't try to increase the number of monkeys. Don't try to increase the number of monkeys in your society, in your Gauri Vaishnava society. Don't try to increase the number of monkey and dog eh? and jackal. Try to increase the number of devotee. I can show you, you open, you are laughing, you can show Chaitanya Bhagavad. Shivas Pandit speaking. Gotram nu bardhatam. Our Gotro, Gotro mane, our number of devotees should increase. But this is not the procedure which you are following. Follow. This is not the procedure. So, what to speak about Jayadev Goswami? About whom? Jagannath dancing. In the name of Jayadev Goswami, Jagannath dancing. In the name of Jayadev Goswami, Jagannath, I mean Chaitanya Mahaprabhu dancing. So who am I to speak about him? Jadi hari sarane sarasam mano jadi bilas kalasu kautu halam madhur kamalo kant padavalim sinuta bajai deva swara swatim sinuta da jai deva swara swatim. What is it? Jadi hari sarane sarasam mano jadi bilas kalasu kautu halam madhur kamalo Kanto pada valim, sinutada jai deva swara swatim, sinutada jai deva swara swatim. What reading? Jodi hari swarane swarasam mano. By hearing harikatha, if you feel tremendous enjoyment, very big enjoyment. If Jodi hari swarane swarasam mano, by hearing Krishna, if Rasa overflowing inside your heart. Jadi Hari Swarasa Swarasam Manu. Jadi Hari Swarane Swarasam Manu. Jadi Vilasa Kalasu Kautu Halam. If you are really interested about the excellent Madhur Lila Vilasa of Radha Govindu, of Prakito Radha Govindu, then you will, you will have to then you will have to depend upon Jayadev Goswami. Senutada Jayadeva Swara Swatim. You will have to depend upon. Why? Jayadev Goswami is a big Acharya. Big Acharya in the way of Gauriya Bhajan. You can fight with me. Maharaj, Jayadev Goswami took birth in a 1200 uh, centu uh, century, not uh, as per Jesus Christ, as per our Bengali calendar, 1200. So how possible? And Mahaprabhu came here uh, after 14, huh? follow. So, you can say that time Gauranga Mahaprabhu was not there. Well, Gauranga Mahaprabhu was not there. When Billamangal when Billamangal Thakur took birth, Mahaprabhu was there? No, no question of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu came much later. What the question of Mahaprabhu? Where from this question coming? So here one secret Siddhanta. Though Jayadev Goswami took birth before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, though we know Billamangal Thakur came before, much before, Madhavendra Puripat came before. What to speak about them? Even I can say, Ramanu Chajyo, Madha Chajyo, Nimbarka Chajyo, follow, Nimbarka Chajyo, follow, every, Vishnu Swami, all they got darshan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu here. They came here, you don't know. 
Even Shankarajaju came. Mahapu said, hey, go, go, go from here, go, go from here. It's not for your place. You go back end. <laughs> Mahapu said, it is not your place. You go, go somewhere else. It is Navadhi. Follow. Who not? Chotu Swam. Saptar se amne, you know, Navajogendra. Who not? Everybody came. Who not? Everybody came. Because Gauru Lila is not, you know, Gauru Lila is eternal Lila. Some foolish people can fight. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur writing, writing this Siddhanta. Jo Jayadev Goswami came before, Billa Mangal Thakur came before, but they got the darshan of molten golden complexion inside the heart. Gaur Avatar. They already saw. Billa Mangal Thakur, Jayadev Goswami, Vidyapati, who not everybody. Because without the connection of Gauranga, without the connection of Gauranga, this kind of, oh, useless, impossible. Without the connection of Gauranga, without the connection of Gauranga, this kind of prema, extreme, impossible. Impossible. Not possible. So, Gauranga Mahaprabhu already appeared inside the heart much before. I can speak about Jayadev Goswami anyway. It's a very high level discussion about Jayadev. And one or two lines I like to speak about. We are feeling very difficult in Krishna Bhajan. But if you ask me, what is the easiest task in your life? If somebody is asking, Prabhupada can give answer. I have no right to speak that way because I am a small man. What is the easiest job, you know, easiest thing in your life? Krishna Bhajan is the topmost easiest. Nothing so easy. Nothing so easier than Krishna Bhajan. <coughs> but we cannot do. Because there is kapat bhav inside heart, we like to reserve something. We cannot do. Krishna Bhajan is the very easy. Bhakti Mantra speaks, Krishna Bhajan is the topmost, easiest job thing, what a man can do, Jivatma. But we cannot do. Because we have, we have kapat bhav. So long discussion, I wanted to discuss about Jiva Tattva, already done, long discussion, but still it was not sufficient, I think. One point I like to touch, Jivatma coming from Tatasya Sakti, you know very well, you memorize, I know. Chit Sakti, Jiv Sakti, Maya Sakti, you memorize, but you cannot realize you cannot realize that marginal potency Jivatma, Jivatma, I mean Chinmoy, Jivatma can go both sides, this side, that side. Five, five. And all Jivatma, they have some enjoying mood. Enjoying mood in Sanskrit we can say Purushakar. Actually, Actually, in English you can say, you are male, she is female. English. But as per Sanskrit, you say Purush and Sri. Okay? Purush and Sri you can see. But about, about Jivatma, all Jivatma, this is not the identity. Because you are having a male body, she is having female body. But this is not identity. Actually, if we see the Atma inside you, we cannot say it's male or female. We have no idea. No, we cannot speak. But one thing sure, because Jivatma is Tatasya Shakti, Shakti mean? Shakti mean? Energy. Energy. As per physics also, you are speaking energy but it's not complete. But point is that 
Jivatma, Jiv Shakti is a, you know, not internal potency. I mean, Jiv Shakti, if you search, you cannot find Jiv Shakti is all, you cannot find Jiv Shakti is there inside Krishna. Fine. Sharup Shakti is already there inside Krishna. Sharup Shakti is there already Krishna. But Jiv Shakti is not inside, directly inside Krishna. But it is with Krishna. Inconceivable, inconceivable, no? Is one kind of achinto shakti. Though jeep shakti is outside, but still it is together with Krishna. It's an excellent thing. And that jeep shakti, we can say shakti tattva. Radharani shakti tattva, lalita, vishaka, all shakti tattva. They are all shakti tattva. And Jivatma also Sakti Tattva. But Jivatma, we cannot, we cannot compare Jivatma with Radharani, Lorita, Vishaka, we cannot compare. They are Sarup Shakti. They are all coming from Sarup Shakti. Original Sarup Shakti, Radharani. All Sarup Shakti. But they are Tatasta Shakti is always Jiva. Try to remember, one Tatasta Shakti. Jiva, one Tatasta Sakti Jiva, if going to come out successful, Shiddhi in Bhajan. So surely that Jivatma can enter into Golok Vindavan, eternal seven, yes or not? Yes or not? Can enter, no? Ha. After Bhajan, successful, and maybe finally can go to Vrindavan and can do Seva. Like I am discussing about Brihad Bhagavatam, I can show you. How Gopugama are going to Golok Vrindavan? Follow. So, if at all you are going to do bhajan perfectly, suppose you are going to come out successful with, with Roti Manju, Guna Manjuri Bhav or Roti Manjuri Bhav. Suppose you are doing bhajan, you are under the guidance of perfect Guru, Sadguru, who is having this, you know, Rasatattva already. Otherwise, where from, where from you can get? Your Gurudev don't have, where from you get? Link you should have, no? So if suppose you have come out successful, coming out successful, with the Baba of Guna Manjari. So that doesn't mean you can leave the body and enter into Vrindavan to become Guna Manjari. Not that. Don't make mistake. That doesn't mean you are successful with the Baba, with the Baba of Guna Manjari. Okay? But that doesn't mean you are going to enter into Vrindavan and become another Guna Manjuri. Not that. It's called Mayavadi. If I like to take the chair of Gurudev, I can push Gurudev, throw, up, you go, I can take your chair, then I am Kangsa, Mayavadi. To take the chair of Gurudev, to take the chair of Param Gurudev, to take the, to take the chair of Lalita, Vishaka, is called Mayavadi. That you cannot do. A Jivatma, when coming out successful with the Baba of Guna Manjuri, he can become Guna Manjuri. He can get the Seva like Guna Manjuri, under the guidance of Guna That doesn't mean he can, he can get the chair of Guna Manjuri. Not there. Follow. Because that Jivatma going, com, coming out successful in Vrindavan Golok Vidyama, entering, getting, getting eternal Seva, but still, but still, that Jivatma is Jivatma. Don't forget what I mean. Follow what I mean to say. That Jivatma is successful. But he is going to follow Guru. Under the guidance of Guna Manjuri. Same Baba. Okay. But that doesn't mean that, that the Jivatma can become Guna Manjuri. Is Guna Manjuri, he can follow Guna Manjuri. Can, under the guidance of can get same Baba. Because if one Jivatma becomes successful, is Jivatma. Follow. One Jivatma is successful, but still is Jivatma. She is Jivatma. And Lolita, Vishaka, Guna Manjuri, Rati Manjuri, they are coming from Sarup Shakti. They are coming from Sarup Shakti. And that Jivatma may be successful, but still going to enter into Vrindavan. But still, Jivatma, Jivatma. But speciality is that, is Shiddha. Okay, eternal seva.
follow. Can get Jibatma Jibatma. And those who are eternal parsat, like Bhakti Thakur, Prabhupada, they are not Jibatma. Don't try to make mistake. I am speaking, somebody is going to get Siddhi, and those who are eternally Siddha, like Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhan, Saraswati, Bhakti Thakur, they are not Jibatma. They are Gauru Shakti Sarupayo. A mantra, you know? Gauru Shakti Sarupayo. Vigrahaya Namaste. Sarup Shakti. More discussion I can do someday, but try to concentrate in this matter. That Jayadev Goswami is the eternal person of Jagannath Bhagavan, Radha Madhav. I like to speak some very important thing about so that I can project the Bani Sharup of because Jayadev Goswami history, if I go on, he took bath here, his father this, is not I can speak, but not you know. So he actually took birth in Kendo Billu Gram. The name of the village is Kendra Billu Gram. In Birbhum. In Birbhum district. If you go to Nityananda Ekchakra Dham, if you like to go to Ekchakra Dham, Ekchakra Dham, I mean Birbhum, you will have to cross that place. You will have to cross. After that you can go. He was very, very, very poor family, very poor family. But still, regarding educational qualification, if somebody asks, Jayadev Goswami is excellent. Jayadev Goswami is excellent. He used to do bhajan at the bank of Ajay Nadi. It's Ajay. There is one very famous Mahadev at the bank of Ajayanadi. He used to sit in a place and do Hari Bhajan from very small boy, boyhood, he used to do. After father, mother all gone, he took decision to go to Purushottam Dham. Puri, Purushottam Dham. But Purushottam Dham, he went there. And uh, actually, there was no room long ago. I mean, 600, 700 years back, there was only temple was there, no facility to stay. He used to stay under a tree, under one tree. Under one tree, he used to stay. And almost whole day, he used to stay with Jagannath in the temple, inside. And whatever Madhukuri used to arrange, used to take this, this way, leading life. Someday, another family coming to stay in Purushottam Dham, Bengali. They are also Bengali. Jayadev Goswami also Bengali. But a devotee, should, I should not say Bengali, Uriya. <laughs> but still, too, for your kind information and speaking. So, another Bengali family came. They are also great devotee. And... They have any very small girl, small girl. And that girl developing, very beautiful girl, very poor. Somehow begging and they are arranging. And Jayadev Goswami over there, staying over there. And neighbors actually. One day, Jagannath came in dream of the father of that girl. Your girl now grown up. She is now grown up. You can give this girl to Jayadev, just your, you know, Jayadev. In your locality you can find Jayadev. His name is Jayadev, you can give. It is my order. Follow. And the man, in the morning time, he himself, together with, uh, with wife and, you know, girl, coming in the bhajan kutir of Jayadev Goswami. Jayadev Goswami said, I am a penniless beggar. Why you are coming to me? Well, I have some reason. What reason? Well, actually, Jagannath came in dream and giving me instruction, this girl you can offer to Jayadev. Jayadev, the heaven broken down. I am a niskinchan sadhu, I never uh, like to marry, nothing. I like to do bhajan. How possible I cannot accept it? 
I cannot accept. You like to reject the order of Jagannath. You like to reject the Jagan order of Jagannath. It's the order of Jagannath. Whatever you like to do, you do. I am going to keep this girl with you in this bhajan kutir. I am going. Father, mother, gone. Bhagdatto. Bhagdat means always commitment. Father going to, because according to the order of Jagannath, Father going to make some commitment, the girl I am going to give. The girl can stay here, whatever you like to. You like to throw this girl out of your bhajan kutir, whatever you, I am going. Father and mother. And the girl, Paddhavati, crying and crying. Like Ganga, water. Jayadev looking at the girl, feeling some pain. If it, is the, if it is really the order of Jagannath, I cannot violate. And very slowly asking to the girl, you like to stay with me, what you can do? I am penniless beggar. But I don't know. It is the order of Jagannath. That, that's why my father give me to you. You are my husband. You throw me and whatever you do, whatever you like. I am not going to go, go away. I am not going away. Jayadev was bound to keep. From then onward, Jayadev could realize, J, I wanted to reject that girl. Jayadev was very sorry to think that I wanted to reject that girl. But now I discover she has a tremendous bhakti. What bhakti I have inside me? What bhakti I have? In, I think I am a devotee. What bhakti I have? But a more tremendous bhakti that sm a small girl. Okay, you can stay with me. Okay. After that, there is long history. I don't like to speak all in details anyway. Jayadev Goswami wrote, I like to speak all in details, but time cannot permit anyway. So Jayadev Goswami, you know Gid Govinda. Gid Govinda was written by Jayadev Goswami. Not only Gid Govinda, so many things. Pralaya paya pralaya paya dhijale dhito bana sivedam. This Keshava dhito. This. You know, Kurma Sarido, Rama Sarido, all. This is written by, I can come this, to this point after. Because up and down, because discussion is, you know. So he wrote this. Jayadev Goswami, Gid Govinda. And the, that Gid Govinda was so famous that the king of Orisha, yes, I mean, Jagannath Puri, was very happy. He was gone mad by watching. And one day, one village girl, one village girl, busy with cultivation, suppose going to collect some brinjal or potato, anything, everything, and going to market for selling. Very poor. Brinjal and everything. That girl, going to collect brinjal, going to collect and go to market to her, and she is singing Jaidev Gan. Jayadev, but it's very sweet, very sweet. She is singing, she is full of bhakti. Jagannath himself coming here in the garden of Brinjil Garden to hear this Gidgavinda from the lotus mouth of that guard, village guard. Jagannath coming from his throne, coming here directly to hear. After that, what happened? That Pujari, everybody going to discover Jagannath is full of dirty here because gone, gone, gone to garden, na? It's dirty. Whole body dirty. And there is no, there is throne, you know, in Brinjal tree, there is throne in the, here. So finally, King started fasting and asking Jagannath, you will have to give answer, Prabhu. Why we find this kind of throne and, and dirty in your cloth, cloth? Please, you know, otherwise we are very sorry. Jagannath came in dream and speaking. I went to Brinjil Garden, Brinjil Field, to hear Gid Govinda. Gid Govinda? Yes. Are written by Jayadev. I was hearing there. Oh, really? Then, from then onward, 
king took decision to recite Gita Govinda. From then onward, king took decision to recite Gita Govinda before sleeping. Jagannath when going to give, take rest, nobody there. Only Jagannath can stay. And Devdashi, those are live dedicated to Jagannath, not married. That girl from the same, you know, destiny, you know, from that brinjal, that singing. Follow. Up to, still today you can get the same. This way, Gid Govinda become very, very famous and Jagannath like to hear it very much. Follow. One day, the king of Puri, he wanted to write another Jag he wanted to write another Gid Govinda. He was also educated. He wanted to write another Gid Govinda. This king or maybe another king, because king changing, na? I cannot, I have no information about that. One king of Puri, he wrote Gud Govindu. He wanted to offer it to Jagannath. But morning time, Pujari discovered that Jagannath kicked that Gid Govinda and thrown outside. Follow. That the Gid Govinda written by king, Jagannath going to kick out and thrown outside. They could realize Jagannath don't like it. The, the Gid Govinda. Other Gid Govinda not possible. Uh, other Gid Govinda not possible. Anyway, I am going up and down. Excuse me. So, our Gid, our, uh, you know, this uh, Jayadev Goswami, he also came here to stay in Mayapur. Nobody here, this is one place. I don't know you. In Dham Parikram, of Bible, written by <coughs> Bhakti Vinotak, you can find Jagai Madai Ghat. From their right hand side, if you go, you can find one place that the place is broken. Place. No, no Bhajan Kutinath. This place is located as the Bhajan Kutir of Jayadev Goswami. He used to stay here. And this is the particular place where he wrote Pralaya Payadi Jale Vhitobana Sibedam. This he wrote here. And this news spreading everywhere. Finally, the king of Bengal was Lakshman Sen. Sen Vangsha. Lakshman Sen, you can find Ballal Digi, you know? Ballal Digi? You don't know? Ballal Digi? It's historical place in Port Hand. Here, if you go towards Baman Pukur, if you ask anybody where is Ballal Digi, they can show you. That is the, that is the place, remarkable place where we can discover that the king, that the palace of the king, Ballal Sen, Lakshan Sen, sorry, Lakshan Sen, the place is Ballal Digi. I mean, it was uh, constructed by Ballal Sen, his father. But I am saying, speaking about the time of Lakshan Sen. Lakshan Sen used to stay there and not uh, too far. Jadev Goswami used to stay in a very jungle, very nice place. After hearing this writing, Lakshman Sen took decision to meet with a poet, I mean Jayadev Goswami. He threw all his, you know, kingly arrangement, very simple ways, in the guise of a very common man. In the guise of a very common man, he wanted to meet with Jayadev Goswami. He came and begged for pardon and wanted to discuss something. And in course of discussion, Jayadev Goswami could realize he is king. Though he never wanted to identify himself as king, but his speaking power, his mood, Jayadev Goswami could realize because he already heard something about him, he is king. And when Lakshman Sen going to request him to come in my assembly, he wanted to make him, make him a great poet of his assembly. Because those on those days, there's Vikramaditya, Akbar, all big, big kings. They, all, they usually, they have a group of Pandit. Those who are very expert in recitation, some of them in mantra, some of them in science, some technology, some, they, there is a, their group of 
intelligence they used to keep. So he wanted to offer this post to Jayadev Goswami. Jayadev Goswami said, from today onward I am going to leave this place because I don't like to talk with any material man. I don't like to talk in material. I am going to leave this place tomorrow morning. But to speak about taking that post, I don't like. Then Jayadev Goswami wanted to leave the Bengal. Then Lakshan Sen speaker requesting, please, I am not going to meet you anymore. I promise you, I am not going to leave you any, I am not going to meet you anymore. Please promise me, you can stay anywhere in my, in Navadip Dham. Oh, okay, I can make you one bhajan kutir there in, in uh, Chapahati. Chapahati, no? Dijobanina, Chapahati, Dijobanina. I am mean the brother of Gadadar Pandit. He used to arsip. That seva is there. Popa is already gone. There. Ah, you, I cannot disturb you. Please, I cannot meet. Please don't go. I make you bhajan kutir. By the help of minister, he wanted to arrange one plot of big land, garden, everything for him. Bhajan kutir. I am not going to disturb you. At least, it is my consolation that you are there in my, in my kingdom. You are so great. Shadu, Krishna Bhakta. And there one thing happened. What happened? Jayadev and Padavati started worshipping Radha Madhav. I forget to speak to you that Radha Madhav appeared in front of Jayadev Goswami from the water of Ajay Nadi. From the water of from the water of the river, from the water of the river, Radha Madhav appeared. From then onward, Radha Madhav is there always with like shadow, always with wherever he is going in Bhajan Kutir, broken, no, uh, whatever, anywhere he is there, always. So always there, okay, no problem. So he wanted to transfer there up to Chapahati. Chapahati they are worshipping. Radha Madhav, because there is special flower which is called chapa full chapa, you know, golden chapa. You know, what is English, what you say, I don't know, I forget. Ah, some special flower, you know, like golden color. He has to offer. Every day worshipping and offering, you know, what is? One day, one day Jayadev Goswami and Padamuti discover that Radha Govinda going to amalgamate with each other and going to become golden color, I mean Gauranga. Radha Madhav amalgamate and become Gauranga and going to bless. Hari Bhapri Bhap. Both of them eh, felt un unconscious. They fall down on ground. After that, Gauranga Mahaprabhu touch, touching their body. Both of you are the great devotee. I like you very much. I love you. Get up. I'm very happy with your writing, everything. I'm very happy with your mode of bhajan. I'm very happy. So I show you. You don't know this golden avatar, Gauranga, very shortly. Gauranga Mahaprabhu, very shortly I'm coming in this dham, Navadip. In Navadip dham, very shortly I'm going to appear. Maybe that time you cannot stay physically. That's why I already saw. I like to see my golden complexion and going to offer this kind of exclusive prema which is impossible which is impossible that's why after watching the love affair of sonoriya sonoriya brahman in vrindavan and sonoriya brahman watching gorang mapu finally finally when they started discussing with each other when Sonariya Brahman and Gauranga Gauranga went, went to Vindavan, Adi Keshap Mandir in Mathura. Finally, dancing is over, everything. They like to discuss with each other, paying dandavas to each other. Well, I have one question. Gosai, I think you have your link with Madhavendu Buripat. Asking, you see the, their brain. I think you have the link with Madhavendu Buripat. Because without the link of Madhavindi Pura, this kind of prema is impossible. Really you are. I mean, without Gauranga, without Gauranga, 
Nobody can give this. Whatever prema you discover in the life of, you know, this Billamangal Thakur, it is also that. Exclusive prema. For 850 years, for totally for 850 years, totally, totally wrong, he is watching the Leela of Radha Govinda and Vinda, Brahma Kunda. 850 years. Totally. He is in totally in medicine watching Leela of Radha Govinda. All Aprakita Leela. Which is one kind of story in front of us, fictita story. We can think it is one kind of fictita story, not that. It is reality. So now question is that Goranga Mapo going to give them order. You can go now to Jagannath Puri. Jagannath Puri? Why? We like to stay here. We take dar your darshan. No, you go. Mahaprabhu giving this order. You can go to Puri. Puri, why? Well, now you go to Puri. Prabhu, we don't like to go to Puri because we already, you already wanted to express your desire to go to Puri. Has some reason. You first go to Puri. Go on the Puri. They go on Puri by crying. They don't like to go away. And Puri, after that, whatever incident I'm speaking, I mean, Gita Govinda, everything, it is up and down I'm speaking. Up and down I'm speaking. From here, from here, this, you know, Chapahati, from there, they again went to, went back to their old place. Again, they went back to their old place. Follow. First of all, where? Kindo, Kindo Gram at the bank of Ajayanati, for some days. Follow. Up and down, I'm speaking. After that, they went to Puri, this, that, up and down. But I am going to speak about the practical, you know, things. I mean, this Gita Govinda was written by Jayadev Goswami there in Kendobillu Gram. In Kendobillu Gram, this Jayadev Goswami wrote this, uh, this you know, Git Govinda. I am speaking about this thing. Git Govinda actually started writing. No money, nothing. Only begging. No money, nothing. Only one bhajan kutir there. Radha Madhav there, they are worshipping, one, you know, cooking, offering, begging, everything this. And Paddhavati is just like Lakshmi. Paddhavati looks like Lakshmi coming from up. So beautiful. By nature, by bhakti, you know, everything. Activities. So all day and night, whatever they are getting, they are cooking and offering. Jayadev Goswami, one. You know, started writing, started writing there, you know. And one day, he is speaking to wife. One day, he is speaking to wife that I like to write something, but I cannot write. Because how possible for me to write this way? But inside my heart, this kind of writing coming. I am taking the pen. I am supposed to write, but I cannot write. But why? Well, there is some abnormal thing I watching. Because those writers like Basdev, Shuk, uh, no, whatever, big, big writer, Tulsidas, whatever, they, they are writing not mean out, out of their you know, memory. Whatever they are looking, Tulsidas ji, Tulsidas ji, whatever Leela, Ram Leela watching is writing. But you cannot believe it. So Jayadev Goswami writing doesn't mean he is writing out of his you know, memory. It is not mentally concocted something, not that. What he is watching, he is writing. But he is hesitating to write because an abnormal thing. When Krishna is going to catch the lotus feet of Radharani, going to take the lotus feet on head, how I can write? Jayadev Goswami cannot write. This kind of thing repeatedly occurring inside mind. They write this way, write. Huh? 
Huh? How possible? Bhagavan, Sri Krishna is going to take the lotus feet of Radharani and going to press on his head. Huh? How I can write this? Impossible, I cannot write. Then finally he thought, my, maybe my brain gone out of order. I'm crazy. So better I can uh, live writing. Uh, uh, Padda, uh, I'm going to uh, take bath in take bath in Ajay, I mean river. So I can come back and take prasadam. Is going. Jayadev Goswami already gone to take bath in Ajay Nadi. After that, he can come back and take prasadam. Again, can take some rest or start writing. In the meantime, Bhagavan Sri Krishna taking the form of Jayadev. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, in the meantime, taking the form of Jayadev and knocking the door. Open. Hello, open. You here? Because it's coming in the form of Jayadev, na? Prabhu, you come here? Just you told you are going to... Actually, in the way, I remember two or three lines, very important lines of a line of my writing. So first of all, I can write here. Then I can take bath inside home. I cannot go outside. I have no time. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna in the form of Jayadev Goswami going inside the room, writing room. There, writing. Writing. What? What Jayadev Goswami could not write, he was hesitating to write, he is going to write that thing. After that, going to take bath and take in prasadam. After that, going to room to take some little bit rest and Padavadi coming to message the lotus feet of Krishna. Padavadi don't know is Krishna. He thought uh, my husband coming. is going. To. But miracle, every day, every day, every day, Every day, Padabhati is going to message the lotus feet of Jayadev. But today, miracle, some current coming. I am touching the lotus feet of my husband like 440 volts coming. Some abnormal thing and some ecstatic feeling coming. What? As if some current going on. And the face of my husband is all same, but some, some effulgence coming. Same husband, my husband. But every day I am not watching this kind of effulgence, abnormal effulgence, like sun god. Anyway, maybe. After that, husband sleeping, taking rest, Padavadi coming and taking prasadam. Uchista prasadam or of husband. Uchista prasadam or husband, taking prasadam. In the meantime, original husband coming back. Padav, I mean, Jayadev coming back. Jayadev knocking the door, open, and watching my wife today going to take prasadam before me. Padda, you gone mad? You are taking prasadam before me today? Never done? What do you say? You already came inside, took bath, right? It took, after that, you, you are taking rest inside. That's why I am taking your uchista. Ah, what do you say? Then Jayadev Goswami entering the writing room and watching, Krishna already came and wrote the line he was hesitating to write. Saragarala mandalam, mamasirasi mandalam, dehipada pallava mudharum. Here's the line. Saragarala mandalam, mamasirasi mandalam, dehipada pallava mudharum. Hey Radhe, Dayamai, he give you a lotus feet on my head because I am burning my body. Uh, my body, body fully burning. If you are not going to keep your lotus feet on my head, I cannot live. Jalati mai daruno kadana nalo haratu tadu pahito bikaram priya charusile madupanam. So Krishna wrote. After that, Jayadev gone mad. He is watching. Krishna going to keep the evidence that I came. Because husband can express some doubt. Krishna is going to keep some evidence that he came. Some cloth piece, this, that, something. Keeping. So that Jayadev can understand really Krishna, Jagannath Krishna came and he was bound to fill up the blank. After that, Jayadev gone mad, going to take the uchista of wife. Jayadev running and going to take the uchista from the plate of 
wife, you are my guru, you are my guru, you are my guru. Krishna coming and taking and giving kipa to you. I am deprived. So give me uchista. Taking the plate of you know, Padavati wife and eating and putting all body and running to village. Come and take prasadam up Jagannath. Miracle. From then, then more, after that, when the Jayadev Git Govindu was completed, up and down and speaking, then Jayadev Goswami took decision to go to Vrindavan. Jayadev Goswami took decision to go to Vrindavan forever. But how Jayadev Goswami can go? Because he is not in normal condition. Abnormal condition. Or the full case. Sometimes running here, sometimes here, wow, laughing, crying. Is this in this condition how in this condition how Padabhuti can guide and uh, Jayadev up to Vrindavan? But it's a must. Without that, husband cannot live. So Jayadev Goswami like to go to Vrindavan, leaving everything. Follow. Finally, what happens? Padabhuti cannot control husband because abnormal condition. Prema, na? full prema, flood of prema coming, sometimes go faint, sometimes get up, sometimes laughing, sometimes dancing. What is? It's impossible to control. And it's a question of thousands of kilometers. From Kendobillu Gram, First of all, if you take the route of Vrindavan, it's almost uh, 700, uh, 1700, almost 1700, 1600, 1700. So long distance and no car. That time there was no car, only walking we will have to go. See, it's impossible to control husband and go up to Vrindavan, impossible. But still, it's a desire of husband to go to Vrindavan. It's a desire of husband. So finally, you know, they took decision to go to Vrindavan. So, in course of their gain, so many problems, you know, finally going to reach the area of Brajamandal. Brajamandal area, you know, area. When going to enter the area of Brajamandal, then Jayadev Goswami looking that Radha, Govindo, and those, you know, standing under a Kadamba Bhiksha. Kadamba Bhiksha, no? Kadamba Bhiksha. One big, big bulb-like, bulb-like flower. Kadamba Bhiksha. Kadamba. Radha, Govindo, there. Jayadev Goswami watching. And Jayadev Goswami want to run and enter into the area of Brajamandal and touch the lotus feet of Krishna. But cannot go. Because Jayadev Goswami watching, each and everywhere there is a footprint of Krishna. Everywhere, each and everywhere there is a footprint of Krishna, how I can go. How I can touch the footprint of Krishna. Follow. So gone. Faint. Again get, you know, getting back consciousness. Paddhavati going to help husband anyway. You know, you don't know the condition of Jayadev Goswami. You don't know the condition of Padavati. It's a very heavy. This way, finally, Jayadev Goswami enter into Vrindavan, and uh, there actually the Samadhi Mandir of Jayadev Goswami is there in Vrindavan. Follow. And the deity worshipped by Jayadev Goswami is Radha Madhav. At present, you can find this. At present, you can find this Radha Mata Bigraha there in Jaipur. Govinda Mandir, Govindo, Govinda Mandir and Gopinath. Not long distance. From Govinda Mandir, if you from Govinda Mandir, if you like to go to Gopinath, not long distance. But Karoli, Madanmon, long distance. You will have to go two, three, four hours by Vasja and Karjan. And this, I went there, the original Vigraha, the original Vigraha of Jayadev Goswami, I already saw. It is long distance. 
From Jaipur city, you will have to go long distance there. That big road there. Now in Radha Damodar Mandir, they deserve that Radha Mother big grow is there. Anyway, we have no fighting. If Jayadev Goswami, the Radha Mother big grow already gone to Jaipur. Somebody took. And they are Seva. And Radha Madhav Mandir, they demand that the other Madhav is there. Anyway, we believe, okay, no problem. That's no what fighting can do. So this way, now Jayadev Goswami is going to play a vital part in the way of our Raganuga Bhajan, Rupanuga Bhajan. I mean this. Rupanuga Bhajan, if I seek some public can object, uh, some, have some objection, because that time Rupa Goswami didn't appear. So it is good to speak. The Madhurja Bhajan, Madhur Rasa Bhajan. So the question of Madhur Rasa Bhajan, I can come to the topics of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. How Gauranga Mahaprabhu used to take the test of, you know, this uh, Rasa, Braja Rasa, inside Gambira Mandir. Inside Gambira Mandir, uh, last 12 years, inside Gambira Mandir, last 12 years, Continuously, Mahaprabhu used to shed tears, hearing, dancing, mad, totally mad. Only by hearing Harikatha and Kirtan, only by hearing Harikatha and Kirtan from the lotus mouth of Sarv Gosai and Rai Ramananda, Mahaprabhu is going to survive. No other support. If they are going to stop Harikatha Kirtan, Mahaprabhu is going to die. Mahaprabhu cannot live. Only Mahaprabhu you know, surviving because these two devotees, Lalita Vishaka, Rai Ramanand Sardam, they are continuously speaking Harikatha Kirtan. And what Harikatha Kirtan? Especially those very secret topics. I can come now to the vital point. Jayadev Goswami writing Gid Govinda. It is written in Chaitanya Jatamito. Mahaprabhu is going to survive by hearing Gid Govinda you know, of Jayadev Goswami and by hearing all different uh, Tattva Siddhanta Rasa Tattva by Vidyapati. Vidyapati. He is from, he original from Mithila. Mithila means Bihar, Raksal. Mithila. Mithila means the place of Shita Thakurani, Radharani. Hey, uh, Shita, Shita Devi. Mithila, Mithila. It's just adjacent to Nepal. Nepal complete, there, Mithila. Mithila is the kingdom of, uh, of that Mithila Raj and Janak Maharaj. He is originally from there. And our Advaita Gosai discovered that Vidyapati. When Adhi, I long distance that uh, appearance of Adhita Gosai coming now, then I can discuss. Now mixing, khichuri, <laughs> hodgepodge. So I don't like to touch. So Adhita Gosai wanted to go to for pilgrimage. In course of his pilgrimage, finally he met that devotee, great devotee, and gone mad. That Vidyapati writing, we get, I mean Mahaprabhu discussing, I have one book, very old book, maybe 100 years back, uh, first printing started. But I am not, you know, Adhikari, I have no right, that's why I am not reading. I keep in my library, anyway. So, Vidyapati, follow, what is? So, Mahaprabhu day and night going to take the test of this Brajarasa. And Gid Govinda, there is some special thing. What is special thing? It is the very secret love affair of Radha Govinda. It's very secret love affair of Radha Govinda. Common people, they have no right to hear about it. Common people, if they like to hear, they can mi misunderstand, they can misunderstand, misinterpret, and they can fall down and down more. Some group going to speak wrong way, they are speaking, uh, okay, no problem, bonded condition, you can go on hearing automatically. But this kind of Siddhanta Bhakti never told. 
Prabhupada never told, Kesa Goswami never told, no Guru Varga, not even Rupa Goswami Pad, Jiva Goswami Pad, Sonata, they never told this Siddhanta. That it's an automatic fact. Never. And automatic. But that doesn't mean one Sahajiya is full of material karma. I started with the point, you know, those who are indifferent to, you know, give attention to this, you know, Madhura Satatha, finally they can fall down. Because this Aprakita Madhura Satatha can rectify your heart. That Aprakita that Madhura Satatha, what is going on there in inside Vindavan, that can rectify you. That can rectify you. That can rectify only. That's why in Rasa Leela, you can find the sloka. Someday, many times before I discuss all about this point, to break the Siddhanta which are of Sahajiyas, again if the situation demands so, I can do it. Only on the basis of that, only one sloka, Rasa Panchadhyay, only one sloka I can show you. Vikriritam bhajavad viridhan chavish Shaddhan nitam mano srinavad athaparnayajya Bhaktim param bhagavatim pratilabhya kamam Ridrogu masu pahinati achire nadhira achire nadhira This sloka, if you know the exact explanation, if you hear the explanation of this sloka from Sahajiya, you can fall down. But you can hear the explanation of this sloka from right source, then you can survive. Then you can understand, you can try to get qualification by doing seva. It is not gymnastic feats that you can get the marvel on your muscle you can do. You'll have to serve, you'll have to serve those, those Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava. You will have to serve those Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava, those who are, those who are already Madhurati. Those Paramahansa, because Paramahansa already, many different kind of Paramahansa can be there. Even Paramahansa, they can be divided into three categories. First category, second category, third category. So, which Paramahansa you mean? That's the mean, That's why I must clarify this point. Those who are Paramahansa Acharyas, those who are Paramahansa Sadhu, and those who are already having Madhir, Madhur, Rasa, Rati. Particularly, I have to mention Madhur, Rasa, Rati. Particularly. If you are going to serve them, not because you have money power, you can serve. Not that. You will have to harmonize your heart with the Paramahansa Guru. Can you? Can you? <laughs> not that you can get some money, Maharaj, you say some dal, rice, you can take. Not that. Not this seva. Uh, you have my money, you can go and make some bazaar, you know, you can give some. No. You will have to harmonize your heart with that Paramahansa. If you are successful, like Gaurkisa Baba, Never want to take any seva from him. What you can give? You can give rice or sabji, or you can give flour, fruits and flour. He can throw away. Huh? Useless. Huh? Even before accepting, he will look at you. Can understand material man. Can throw you. Bhongshidas Babaji Maharaj. Somebody giving so many fruits and flour. Eh? A bhajan kuti is open. Some ox coming and taking. Watermelon and everything. And Babaji Maharaj laughing. Ah, take, 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 take. Babaji Maharaj, from Bhajan Kutir, Babaji Maharaj sitting, he watching one ox, I am to enter into the Bhajan Kutir, I mean face, and taking all water, milk and everything. Babaji Maharaj, ah, take, 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 nice. But actually, they are actually Dakai crude language. Dakai crude language. Actually, they are actually not. Somebody giving, somebody taking. When ornament gone, oh, somebody giving, somebody taking. Okay, no problem. Again, if go go the want to wear, you can also bring. <laughs> this is the mood. There are no tension, nothing. They cannot go to police station to file one case. My ornament is missing. Foolish. They cannot go. They know everything. Everything done by Krishna. Everything. Someone insulting me. Eh? Again, that man, you know, who is, is crying day and night, staying in bed and, you know, sending brother, everything. Maharaj, excuse me, I have done something. He's crying. Just... You know, previous day, you know, one day before, previous day, he came. 
everything, crying and crying. I say, you, I cannot take even one single paisa from you. You go and rectify your heart. I excuse you. I never mind. But Gauranga Mahapu can excuse you or not, I don't know. There is a fact. Because though Ashwatthama was excused by Panchapanda, right or not? Panchapanda, Dopodi, especially Dopodi. Especially, Yudhishthira speaking, well, Bhim, you like to pass this command. Or oh, Arjun, you like to pass this command. Especially, like to hear the comment of Draupadi. Draupadi, no, you can excuse him. I excuse her. Excuse him. So, Panchabandha, Vaishnava, they are going to excuse. But Krishna still today cannot excuse. Aswatthama. Aswatthama still today doing bhajan. In Pisai Gaon, Nanda Gaon. You cannot see with his eyes. Still today he is doing. Krishna is not going to excuse him. So I told him, I already excuse If I am not excused, how I am talking with you? I suggest you some medicine, these days, you try to rectify. He is crying, I am dying, Maharaj, please excuse me. Excuse. No problem. It is one kind of arrangement by Krishna. He likes to insult me in front of everybody. Now he is going to beg for pardon. <laughs> it is one kind of joking. Anyway, I am surviving. Nobody is going to kill me. He wanted to arrange my killing by engaging Gunda, everything, but now everything water. <laughs> Everything gone water. So I forget. No tension, nothing. So somebody can give me honor, somebody can dishonor me, somebody can cheat me, somebody can give me. It's naturally. So take it normally. As this way. So what happens, you know, this way, you will have to serve the lotus feet of such a excellent Braja Rasika. This word you should remember. You will have to serve a Braja Rasika Bhakta, man who is already having Braja Rasa. And that Seva you will have to do from heart so that that Paramahansa can approve that Seva. Sometimes it is auto suggestive matter. Sometimes it is one kind of auto suggestive. I am doing the Seva, oh, maybe Maharaj is very happy. But we are not going to in take information about the heart of that Mahapurush. To serve a Mahapurush, you will have to take the information, what is there inside the core of his heart. Without understanding what is there inside, it, inside the core of his heart, if you give some money, this, okay, you can give, but that is not. Actual Seva means, actual Seva means, the Paramahansa you are going to serve, and who is going to serve, both of them, can reconcile each other. Prabhupada used to speak one word, totally dovetailed, totally dovetailed, totally. No point zero 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 one millimeter deviation, not there. Deviation, not totally adjusted. It's very difficult. If somebody is successful, if somebody is successful to serve such a great devotee, who is having Brajarasa, Brajarasik, 100%. He can get same prema. Like the case of Ishwar Puripat. Direct example, it is written in Chaitanya Jadamit. Why Ishwar Puripat is going to get the same prema, exact same prema? What is there inside the heart of Madhavanda Puri? Ishwar Puripat, when going to watch, there is a there is a dark cloud in the sky. He fall down. Oh Krishna. By watching the color of the by watching simply the color of the cloud. Oh Krishna. Fall down. So not a matter of joke. So Ishwar Puribad was successful to serve. So Ishwar Puribad was successful to serve Madhavandva. Why? Because he's going to get some. Similarly, in the material world, if some material people are going to pass judgment, don't believe them. You can watch a disciple who is going to get the full keep of Gurudev. But you are going to calculate according to the material money position, how much foreign trip, how many disciples. This is your judgment. You are foolish. But actually you will have to understand, if you like to understand, who is enjoying the full kippa of Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Or who is going to enjoy the kippa of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj? Who? How you can judge? 
By external judgment is not sufficient, no? So this way we will have to understand, he, he, who is having the total heart of Gurudev. I mean the same Siddhanta Vichara of Gurudev, same mood, no interest for money, but you, then you can realize he is totally harmonized with Gurudev. Maybe externally he is long away from, maybe externally he is long away from Gurudev. Externally maybe. So what? But we material people are always going to make some mistake. Oh, he is, has done so many seva of Gurudev. So he is a great. No. Maybe he is going to serve Gurudev to get some money, position, everything. A genuine disciple of Gurudev never going to identify himself this way. That I am the disciple of Srila Bhakti Pumapuru. So you honor me, not this way. Rather, people can ask question. Rather, people can ask question, who is this Gurudev? Who is speaking this way, whose heart is so sophisticated, let us know who is the Gurudev. He is Gurudev. They become interested. Rupshanathan never going to pray, my Gurudev, my Gurudev, never. Why are you? You know the name of Gurudev of Sunatan You speak the name of Sunatan Gurudev, who? Eh? No. <laughs> this is a mistake. Not. And who is the Gurudev of Rupa Goswami Pad? Eh? Eh? Who? Rupa Goswami Pad took Diksha from Sanatan Goswami. Jiva Goswami Pad took Diksha from Rupa Goswami Pad. And Sanatan Goswami took Diksha from this, you know, I already, already told many times. And the brother of Sarvam Vartajajo, his name is uh, Ki Vidya Bachaspati. Vidya Bachaspati. He writing. Bande Guru Me Vidya Pachi. He writing. Nobody knows. Whole world, you put question, nobody knows. Because they are busy with Guruism. My Gurudev is there. My Gurudev is there. Zero, zero, zero. No realization. That's why they are fighting. If at all realization, why they can fight? If you have property, you cannot go and fight with people. You can try to save the property. You have uh, some dockets can come. So no property. So fighting only. This is our you know, property. Only fighting. This we know. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur going to pass this kind of Siddhanta Vishar. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Sachidanda Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking that Brajarasa, you cannot get by reading books. You have money, you can go to market, you can buy Ujjal Nini, this, where you go, ah, you can read and get Braja Prama. No need of Sadhu Guru Vaishnav. This foolish word, idiot. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, no, this way you cannot get. This is not the procedure through which you can get Braja Prama. To know, to get Braja Prama, there is only and only single procedure. What is that? It is one kind of disease. Like Corona, you know, you come in contact with Corona disease, you can develop Corona. So if you come in contact with the Premi Bhakta, and you also, that kind of disease can come. Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking, Bhakti Vinod Thakur giving example, two clouds, Two, two pieces of clouds coming eh? from two, two different directions. Two pieces of cloud coming and going to submerge with either. In that case, there are potential different between this current, you know, potential, this exchange. That's a gum avaj. You know, the, it, is not the, it is not the fighting between electrical potential exchange, balance, very quickly. That's why some lightning and sound. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur going to give this example. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur giving just this example. Like one cloud coming in contact with another cloud, you know, then the exchange of, you know, potential different, you know, charge, the balance. This way, if somebody, hundred, if somebody really want to get Braja Prema, if he is going to come in contact with such a Braja Rasik Bhakta with serving mood, hundred percent, and at the same time, that sadhu is going to approve this. And that sadhu is going to approve this seva. In that case, the exchange of love. This prema can come and touch. It is one kind of disease, prema roga. It is called one kind of contagious disease. Without which, prema, braja prema, not possible. By reading books, 
by approaching a Sahaji Acharya, who can see, go on reading, you know, Rasa Leela, you can get Prema, the cheater. Bhakti Muratakur speaking, Bhakti Muratakur speaking, I can show you. I am going to, we are going to publish. I do, we are not getting editor, na? big problem, big problem, this seva. There are so many writings, already complete. There it is written, there it is written that this Brajo Prema, you know, if you are coming in contact, those Sahaja are speaking, that you can read Ujjalini Muni, you can read <coughs> Rasa Leela, you can get Prema. But Bhakti Thakur, what speaking Bhakti Thakur? I can show you the comment. And I've already published many times. Thousands of writings we are publishing. If you read, you can go mad. Again, in your whole life, you cannot read. That much thing we are going to publish. That much you cannot digest. <laughs> and your brain, your heart cannot permit. It is written there, Bhakti Mantra was speaking, the old man, if somebody is going to speak, come on, I can teach you Braja Rasa. Bhakti Mantra like this way. Bhakti Mantra writing, if somebody is going to speak, oh, you come up. I can teach you Braja Rasa. Bhakti Mantra is, he is a cheater. Bhakti Mantra speaking, if somebody is uh, suggesting you come to me, I can teach you Braja Rasa, it is impossible because he is teacher. Cheater. Braja Rasa can never be taught. Braja Rasa can never be taught. But in course of sincere seva, automatically this kind of Rasa can develop. Of course, you will have to stay in contact with some sadhu. Yeah, you can get Bajarasa, Bhakti Muntakur, Bajarasa can never be taught. I can preach Bajarasa, I can give Bajarasa, impossible. Bhakti Muntakur is a cheater. In Jaiva Dharma, Chaitanya Sakshikha Mirtha, you go. It's common books. Common books, you go open Jaiva Dharma and Chaitanya Sakshikha Mirtha, I can show you where Bhakti Muntakur writes. Also in Bhakti Vinod Bani Vaibhav, one book. Whole life, Bhakti Vinod what giving? Advice giving, all collected. They are express. Bhakti, Vinod, Bani, Bhoiva. They are all different, different topics. They are Rasa Tattva, this Tattva, all countless. Question and answer. Bhakti, Vinod, speaking. I can show you. They are collecting from Chaitanya Siksha Mito, uh, Mahaprabhu Siksha, or from Jaiva Dharma, here, there. All the teachings of Ma Bhakti, Vinod, they are collecting and writing. So, Vajarasa can never be taught. If we can love Jayadev Goswami from heart, if our, if our heart really permit, uh, my heart permit material karma, and I like to express myself as Brajarasik, is one kind of cheating. You are going to cheat yourself. You are simply going to cheat yourself. Whom you are cheating? You are going to cheat yourself forever. Forever you are going to cheat yourself. Bhagavan cannot give you chance anymore. Be careful. So, first point, Jayadev Goswami is one, one writing. If I can go on discussing, it will take big discussion. Comparative statement with our position, what our Guru Varga told, what Mahaprabhu wanted to enjoy, what is the mood. Gita Govinda is such a secret thing, where all from Purva Rag, you know, Kalahantarita Dasha in Bengali, I am speaking, Sanskrit language. All different kind of, when, when Krishna not coming, Krishna promise, Krishna promise, Radharani, I can come, but she is not coming. Whole day, whole night, Radharani arrange everything, Krishna not coming, so Radharani crying. After that, last night, when morning, almost, then Krishna coming, Radharani going to driving away, it's all secret, Prema. I feel shy to speak in front of you all. First of all, you will have to prove that all material karma vanish from your body. First of all, you will have to prove that all your material karma vanished already from your heart. Then I can speak something. Otherwise, it is not the instruction of Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur, and Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar, they are not going to discuss it. So I am going to touch this point. So this kind of Excellent, secret, Prem Vilash. Because what kind of love affair you find in the material world, it is called material love. 
It is the perverted reflection of that love available there in Golok Vrindavan. It is just perverted reflection of that love available there in Golok Vrindavan. In Golok Vrindavan, that love is excellent, unique, unique, stainless. Whereas, if you get the perverted reflection, I mean that Madhurasa, you see, there is Madhurasa up in Golok Vrindavan. This is middle line. This is, you know, follow. So if you get the perverted reflection of that Madhur Rasa, that is in material world, it is down. Down means it is horrible. It is horrible. Everybody can spit on you if they discover you are busy with material love affair. So what is there in topmost position? Because one plum tree, any tree, at the bank of one lake, follow, there is one plum tree, at the bank of one lake. So plum tree, if you look up the plum tree, you can find the uh, head is up. Head is up, no? If you are staying here at the bank of a lake, and you discover that plum tree, his head is long up, long. And that picture of that plum tree, I mean the reflection in the water. That uh, top is down. Don't understand myself. What is there up? And that up you can find more down. Follow what I say. The reflection you can find that the topmost position is the downward position. Head of that plum tree you can find more and more deep into the water. That's mean the perverted reflection. What is top here? Prema Vilash. A prakita kam vilash, but it should be honored with full respect. But that perverted relation in the material world, material karma, men, women, that we can spit on it. It is down. down. So you should remember it anyway. I have no scope to discuss all in details about someday. If next year we discuss, we can discuss now some new things about his writings, different, different writings and things. As it's one kind of ocean, you know. Jayadev Goswami one kind of ocean. We are very small creature, going to touch the water of that ocean and touch in our head. This much we can do. Nothing we can do. So, so you should not forget this. Jodi Hari Sarane Swarasammana. Jodi Hari Sarane Swarasammana. Jodi Vilas Kalasu Kautu Halam. Madhur Komalo Kanto Padavalim Sinuta da Jai Deva Swara Swatim Sinuta da Jai Deva Swara Swatim Twam Bhakti Yoga Paribhavito Hitsaro Juasase Shotek Shita Patanono Nata Pungsam Jadjad Dhyata Uruga Yobi Bhavayati Tatta da Bapu Pranayasi Shadono Grahayo Vancha Kalpodova Sekipas in the Bhavaja Patitanam Pavana Bhavishna Pure Jai Sri Jadiv Gusai Pat Kijai